Um, I want to rewind back to last year. Man City against Chelsea. And Chelsea were at home. Remember, Chelsea were at home. Man City were the away team. So you would expect that being the home team, you know, um, Chelsea would dominate the, the game. So for Bridge Plastic coming. So Titi, the plan would be maybe soak up pressure, counter attack, contain the repossession based team, keep the ball. But what City did to Chelsea has to be one of the most disrespectful things I've seen in football in a long time. City, pretty much from beginning to the moment that guy in all black put the whistle to his mouth and blew, City controlled the entire game. Chelsea played like the away team. It was like the, the days of Guardiola when Tic Tac Toe was at its peak where guys were just... Literally feeding off scraps. So that's what happened there. And that has to be playing in the minds of the players, of Chelsea players coming into, 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 into this game. Things have changed. At that moment in time, Chelsea defending champions, there was still a belief that, you know what, this match could potentially tell us where the title would would go. And this was still in the belief that, you know, Chelsea could still mount a serious title challenge. Fast forward to now, and City are our Premier League champions. They're just waiting for that mathematical crap. Um, <clears throat> and Chelsea are fighting to stay in last four. How many people... When you go back to that City Chelsea game, would have said that Chelsea would be fighting, fighting to be in the top four. How many? Speak the truth. But guys, that is the reality. That is the reality of the situation that we find ourselves in. That um, the gap between City and Chelsea is embarrassing. So coming into this, this game, City after lubricating Arsenal and pretty much should really be sacking Wenger. Um, this is a game that Gorilla has to be, be fully confident in. And for, and for Chelsea, say to yourselves that what's the plan? Because it's very difficult to come and to, to try and think of a game plan when You have a manager who, for tactical reasons, takes off the team's best attacking player when the match is at 1-0 and they're looking likely to score. So that's what you're dealing with here. And as I've said many, many times, and I really don't care what anyone says because I, I know what I'm saying is right. Hazard and William are the only two attacking players. Chelsea only attack with two, two players. Because Chelsea doesn't have any other attackers. So when you only have two attacking players in your team, that's pretty difficult. Because there's only so much Kante can do. Kante, defend, pass, move forward, hustle. I mean, my, my lord, really relax, you know. Um, so, I don't see a scenario where Chelsea win this game. The best they can hope for is a draw. Because, and I put out a video, obviously, with the football banter guys out there. Um, we, we have to have the discussion. When all is said and done, when, when City gets given a title, or when the Premier League season finishes and we're building up to the World Cup, we have to have the discussion of where do we race this Man City team. I don't care about where we can. I don't care. I don't, that's irrelevant to me. Premier League-wise, the Premier League games, Premier League season, where do we rate this City team? Because <clears throat> what they've done in this Premier League season is his historic, and they're playing some ridiculous football. And I look at Chelsea's defensive mishaps, 
Um, I look at how the team isn't very well balanced. There isn't a ruthlessness and there isn't this, this stability that they had with Diego Costa. And I say to myself that, you know, City are a team who are just brimming with confidence. And I just see them really causing Chelsea a hell of a lot of issues. Uh, so, because you'll have a scenario where City are going to keep through the ball. And even when Chelsea receive the ball, I don't know... Because the game plan will be give it to a Hazard. Hazard is surrounded by two, three guys. Hazard looks up. Willing is the only guy that he can really pass to. He's been covered. And he looks to at the other guys and thinking that if I pass the ball to, 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 to these dudes, are they really going to do anything for, for me? Are they really going to move the, the, the team forward? So he holds on to the ball, tries to do something in himself individually. There's only so much he can do against two, three players. So that's the scenario. Um, so City, in my opinion, there's no reason why they shouldn't win this game. Because City want to get this over and done with us as quickly as possible. And the thing is, you know, do you know, do you know what's, what's funny? You know, like, how people said um, just be, be before these two games that, that City had that, man, you know, City, man, you know, they, they, they've got Arsenal, they've got Chelsea, those are two tough games. But by the time Sunday evening rolls around, you, <laughs> you, you'll probably find that City pretty easily beats these two tough matches that should somehow derail or or slowing down, um, or slow down their um, match towards the title. So um, again, for me, like for Chelsea, they have to call, they have to be defensively strong. Um, they have to have men behind the ball. They've got to close off their spaces. They've got to be disciplined. They cannot make any kind of mistakes because. Mistakes led Barcelona to score. A mistake led United to score. So, um, well, not really a mistake, like sort of like 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 an, an, an injury to Christensen. So it's like <sighs> I'm just again. Tell me, comments below. What's Viable, don't, so don't come up with some crap of like, well, I just think because no, no, what's viable arguments that has any weight can you give me that Chelsea can either win this game or draw this, this, this game apart from luck? Because the only way that this game is a draw or somehow a freakish win is just by luck. But as far as statistical, full analytical reasons, there is no reason why that team I saw against Barcelona or that team I saw against United, especially, can go to the Etihad and play City, who have now just accelerated with the way that, 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 that they're playing. I told you guys, Elkay Gunan is, is one of the best midfielders in the world. Leroy Sanders is one of the best young players in the world right right, right now. These guys are balling. Silva is saying, you know, what's up, man? Silva, I mean, you know, Silva, Silva is saying, you know what? I'm, I'm going to say a few things this summer. Like, Silva is saying, I'm going to talk. I'm going to talk this summer. Silva, Silva wants to talk this summer. He wants to talk. He wants to talk this summer. Um, so, scoreline... Two zero. Two zero to Man City. Um <laughs> I don't think I see Chelsea. because that's why there are issues with this with this, with this Chelsea team. There's so many issues. There's so many issues with, with this team. And I, and it all stems from Conte. And I see this team being so inconsistent. And guys, <laughs> let me be let me be real real with you. Don't just assume Chelsea will make top four. Don't assume it. Those are teams. So that's because Tottenham, are right? So this team has issues. Okay, we're hearing Kutu wants to leave. Hazard wants wants to to leave. Conte himself says, eh, "Look, I've done the best I can." You know. So look, man. Um. So yeah, two zero to Man City, and then yeah, I watch for my post match analysis after the game. Peace out. Stay true and stay black. Thank you for watching this video. Think about pledging and become a half of football hot patron. Pledge an amount each month and gain access to exclusive videos from your boy, the football hot, for more analysis. Peace.